Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to learn about a new newly introduced feature that is space. So this feature space in SharePoint is still in preview, but uh, we are going to talk about like how we can leverage this feature and how this feature would be beneficial for us uh, going forward. So Microsoft is infusing mixed reality into SharePoint. So possibly you must have read uh, many articles related to it that uh, how Microsoft is uh, investing in uh, VRs and this uh, uh, initial part uh, where, where we can, uh, they have introduced this uh, space as a preview feature. So space creates 3D and 360 degree environment that aims to make it easier for companies to make it better interact with the data and as well as in the 3D models. So it's pretty easy to set up. So I'll uh, in a while I'll, I'm going to show you that how you can set up the spaces and it doesn't require any VR reality head setup. So that means you will see the entire thing in, in your SharePoint site itself. Microsoft sees uh, spaces as transforming the industries, specifically manufacturing industries, where their, their business can start uh, uh, begin to use the product in the real uh, development and training the people uh, without uh, requiring of any real-time simulations or simulators. So in this session, I'm going to tell you that how you can set up the spaces, how you can include the 3D objects, and how you can work with the with the the inbuilt uh, 3D structures which uh, Microsoft is already being given. All right, so let's start uh, with setting up the space feature. So as you can see, I'm on one of my communication site and uh, I will go to my site features. So for site setting, I'll be choosing this route, clicking on the view all setting. And under the site actions, you can see there is manage site features. If you click on that, and if you scroll down, you will find something related to space. So for better, I'll just uh, type in space. So now you can see this feature allows users to create mixed reality space in share site. So I'm just activating it. So it uh, takes a while to get activated. Now I'm going back to my home page. And if I click on this new button, you will see I started getting this space preview as a feature. So I'm clicking on it so that I can give you a tour how to set up the space and how to you can utilize the inbuilt uh, 3D structures. So I've just clicked on it. So to start with, uh, uh, this is already giving few templates where you can start with. Choose a structure to start with. You can always change it in a space with prop in space properties. So I'll choose a feature, let's say spiral one, and just giving it a name. So product demo and creating it. So it's building environment. It's setting up the prerequisites. Okay, so now we have it. So you can see. So this 3D image is capturing. If I just uh, just uh, select and drag, then you can see it's giving me the entire 3D view of this image. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So now, how to add the other 3D images? Possibly, if you are part of some manufacturing company or some, uh, let's say, uh, instrument company which is developing some instruments or objects which you would like to show. In, in reality, showcase in reality, for example, uh, the product demonstration of pro product training, and this could be, I mean, very intuitive one. So now you can see there is one plus icon. So using that plus icon, uh, we can add few objects to it. So there are few, which is directly being given, 3D, 360 degree image, 360 videos, and 3D objects. So for this demonstration, let's pick this 3D objects because uh, it will give me some inbuilt templates which we are going to use as part of it. So it just opened one panel. So you can see I got this 3D catalog. So from this catalog for the demo purpose, I can choose. So let me just choose out one. Let's say I'm choosing this all animated models. So I'm just clicking on that. And among this, it will it, it has given me option what sort of animated model you want to use. So I'm just clicking any random of it.
So now you can see this animated character is there. If I just click click on it and you can see I got this pencil icon to update the properties and I am going to just uh, scale it a bit up. I am just going to the extreme right property and just making it a big. So you can just keep clicking on it. Now you can just drag and somewhere set there in between and there are few other properties so angle or what angle you want to have it distance from user so you may try your hands like uh, uh, under rotating this stuff or just uh, angling it out and if uh, you click on it so i'm just clicking on it and clicking on pencil icon it gives me these few more properties in the right hand side so you can see I can change the objects and under these objects if I click on change object it will allow me open me the same pop up where you can change the uh, the, the object which you have selected earlier and uh, if you just scroll beneath you can see podium so if you just enable this you can you you can see something like uh, the shadow uh, podium or the platform started appearing there so I'm just again editing it and now you can see uh, I have few actions and so right now on trigger on inspection what do you want to do so if I just click on if a person uh, I mean like inspect it it should play a sound so let's say it started playing this uh, uh, sound with this organ so I'm just adding one of the sound and in the sound you may upload I mean like your custom sounds as well so right now I don't have any so I'll just uh, remove this one and we'll just keep and you can link it to another space and you can also link up link to a different page which can describe about this character so these are these options you have so you can also set up few other properties I'm just uh, saving it as is so with this uh, let's have some other uh, features let's say 3d 360 degree image so if I add up this image and then uh, I mean like you can browse your images from anywhere but where, wherever you have uploaded so right now in decent one I don't have any so I will not use so I'll just uh, go back and uh, we'll try to use this people organization chart so would like to give you a uh, just a quick uh, brief of it because for uh, let's say if this site is for uh, HR and they want to give any induction training so possibly having we can have this 3d organizational chart charts available there so you can start uh, uh, in the left and right hand section you can start entering the organization which you want to depict so you can possibly write uh, the company CEO name and it will start showing up the organization structure entirely so right now in my this uh, uh, site or this environment I'm the only user so and there's no hierarchy being built there so it's showing my name there itself but in real time if uh, in, in your company you would be having that um, entire hierarchy available then this would be a sort of very intuitive 3d chart would be there I'm just editing that again and again you can I mean like you can set up other properties showing show podium and on trigger more actions as I said earlier as well that uh, you can start keeping on it So that's how uh, you can have uh, included these other objects. You can uh, explore the others, other one as well, having a document library associated in your space. So you can have document library. You can have the 3D video images. So pretty sort of cool, cool stuff. So I'm just uh, again try to update. So it's because I've selected that document library, so it started giving me a, a, that option. So now I, what I'm going to do I'll just uh, publish it so that it can be available for everyone so while publishing you can see it has uh, published it and now if you just keep on moving it so it's pretty much giving you that option if you click on uh, let's say I'm clicking on this uh, organization chart so it should zoom up that one so possibly so let me just click on this character so it has highlighted this character and if you click back it will go to the back of uh, to the same position and if you added this you can see you again started having this option you can fit that up 
uh, under the space design you can change the uh, properties related to your space you can again I mean like reset the template it, which you were initially selected simply by choosing these options and among other settings there is light dark settings whatever setting you would like to use and uh, background image you can choose up your background image I'm just change that to uh, from these one of the template and as well as uh, there is one cool stuff which is uh, audio file so you can select your custom audio file or you can have the uh, ambient sounds from these selected options so let's let's include this wind one so it will start giving you one windy sound so if you open the site it will give you the volume uh, the site of this uh, the sound of this site as in like whatever you selected so possibly uh, uh, if you are making some some themes related to jungle then you can have that jungle sound embedded in this um, space so pretty pretty cool option so basically uh, as I told you in earlier as well so it's actually transforming few of the industries for example there's the possibly like uh, if uh, manufacturing the building manufacturer and infrastructure manufacturers are using this space then they can give the orientation of a or a virtual tour to a new building using the space options and as well as under the training industry if you are in training or education field then uh, you can just build out the intuitive uh, this 3d uh, learning simulators using the space site and ca can have your employees to get trained on that and as well as uh, of course you can unlock the cre your creativity so uh, as I just like uh, added few of the stuff animated stuff to it so you can also like uh, try your hand and create something good for example for for a child you can just build up some intuitive solar system which can give them a 3d depiction of the entire universe so sort of very amazing and awesome feature so possibly uh, I would suggest or advise you to try out your hand on this space uh, preview so by this I'll end this video so if you like my video please drop Comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.